Today I'm covering Fish Speech, which is a fantastic model that does zero shot voice cloning and it's pretty good. So we're going to go through some examples first. We'll listen to it and then I'll just talk a little bit more about it. So um, this is the web interface. I'm going to select a voice model. Uh, we're going to let's go with um, this Kokoro voice here and let's take a listen to it. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be testing out Fish Speech and showing how you can try it out yourselves too. So please stick around if you're interested. So that's one sample. I've got another voice. We'll do we'll do this um, Nicole voice from Kokoro as well. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be testing out fish speech and showing how you can try it out yourselves too. So please stick around if you're interested. So that one is more of a whisper. And then let's try this one from Eleven Labs. This is Alice from Eleven Labs. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to be testing out fish speech and showing how you can try it out yourselves too. So please stick around if you're interested. So all of those were zero shot voice cloned voices in the web interface here. And uh, now let's just talk a little bit about fish speech. So fish speech is actually an open source state of the art model as well. And you can see that on the TTS arena right here, they score number three on the leaderboard just underneath 11 labs and play HT. Um, for the non-proprietary models, it is ranked at number one. However, um, what I was informed is that the model that's actually uh, being ran on the web interface, which is what we're going to be going over in today's video, is actually an improved version. And I can believe it because it sounds uh, pretty similar to Eleven Labs. Now, you guys will probably be able to test it a little bit more than me, but in the testing that I was able to do, Fish Speech sounds really good on their web interface. So yeah, you can check out their open source model here, or you can use their um, web interface, which is the improved version, and that's what we're going to go over in today's video. So you can get this up and running on your device, and all you have to do is use this web interface. So this is the landing page for Fish Speech, Fish Audio. And nothing too uh, fancy here. But if you look at the team here, they are behind several of these open source uh, text to speech or speech to speech models that um, I've been using. So, like Sovitz SVC, GPT Sovitz. Um, the team behind this, they have some accolades and have been uh, very active in the open source speech communities and they've released some really good stuff. So uh, so this is the home page. You can discover different voices here. So you can scroll through this and these are all the voices that people have made public that they've created. You can do text to speech. This is where you uh, this is kind of like your playground where you can generate samples. That's what I did earlier. You can build a voice. So I'll go over how you can do that. And then you've got your voice library where you can look at the voices that you have, all of that cool stuff. And so there are two plans for this. There is the free one and then the premium one. So the free one does allow you to do some web generations, about an hour of it. So um, you can try this out if you want before you pay, if you're going to use the web service, or you can even use this via API. So this is if you're a developer, you can use this for your um for whatever application that you want with text to speech and I've calculated this to come out to about two cents per minute. So this is what they quote for their TTS price, but um, I did about a minute of generation and it took off two cents from the API credit. So very affordable if you ask me. All right, so how can you use this? We'll go to the discovery page and find a suitable voice for the video. Um, let's go through here. We'll just use a Genshin voice. Um, we'll use this dude and we'll put in some Great Gatsby here. So I've got some text. We'll delete the rest of that end of the sentence. And then we'll just take a, we'll just do this generation. So we've got the voice model, we've got the text, and then our settings here. Um, you can also turn off high quality mode for it to be faster, but we'll keep that on and then we'll create. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. So that sounds pretty good, but it is clipping a little bit. So I found that if uh, that's happening, just turn the volume down to like negative five. And then let's recreate that. He didn't say any more, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. So that actually sounds pretty good in my opinion. Um, let me try to find some other voices. So if you go to select voice model, we can go to explore. We shall use Frina, and this is the sample that they have. Welcome, dear audience, to our marvelous fountain court. So that is the reference audio, and we can use this as well. We're going to do English. 
uh, once again, The Great Gatsby. We'll come back here and then, um, so we're going to do negative five again, just so we don't get any clipping and then we'll create audio. He didn't say anymore, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way, and I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. So, there you go. Now we got two generations there from their Discovery Explore page. Now we can find pre-trained models, but let's say you want to create your own voice, so let's do that now. So, I'm going to go to Build Voice, and I'm going to put mine on private. Don't want it to be listed out to the web. And then we're going to, let's just do me. So I'll do me and then um, we'll do a record. So we're going to record some audio here and then I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. We've got a little bit of a sample here. Let's take a quick listen. So we're going to be recording some audio here for the model in fish speech. And yeah, this is how I speak. And so there's that. It's going to sound a little bit different than the video because I post process my voice um, in my video editor. So this is the raw voice sample, but we're going to click on create, give it a few moments to create the voice. And what it does is that um, while it's creating this voice, it also generates a sample with that voice, which is what it's going to be using for the um, for the model. So here we go. Here's the generated sample. We'll take a listen to that. So yeah, I'm testing out this new um, microphone setup. And uh, like the cool thing about it is that uh, we can adjust the gain settings really easily. It's probably going to take about, I think, maybe 30 seconds or so to get everything calibrated properly. Cool. So we can save that and that's not too bad. We'll go to use voice and then let's generate once again with um, this Great Gatsby text. So here we go. And then we'll click on create. He didn't say anymore, but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way. And I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. Okay, so not too bad for zero shot voice cloning. All right, and then we're going to create one more voice model here. And that's going to be using um, some text samples from another text -to speech engine. So I'm going to be using this Kokoro voice sample here. We're going to download it. I already have it downloaded, um, but uh, we'll just save this here and we'll do private. Upload this Kokoro. I actually don't know which one this is. Uh, we'll say default. And then we'll upload that audio sample here. So 20 seconds of audio. We'll take a quick listen to it. Kokoro is an open weight TTS model with 82 million parameters. Despite its lightweight architecture, it delivers comparable quality to larger models while being significantly faster and more cost efficient. So that is the reference audio. We're going to create the model with that. And then now we are going to use that. So here is just some random text that it created um, for me to generate with. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go forward with that. So let's click on create. Our latest update introduces enhanced inference speed and improved pronunciation accuracy. With optimized memory usage and streamlined processing pipeline, users can expect 30% faster response times while maintaining the same high quality output across multiple deployment scenarios. So that almost sounds like a perfect voice clone to me. And that is, uh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty astounding. So um, you can build a bunch of different voices in here. Uh, do as much voice cloning as you want. You don't need too many files to do it. You don't need to do any fine tuning or anything like that. This will do it in zero shot fashion. So that's awesome. They do have some best practices when doing uh, voice cloning. So some of the quality guidelines they recommend is single speaker only. A steady volume, tone, and emotion, some brief pauses so they're not like plowing through pronunciation, uh, no background noise, professional recording quality, and no room echo. So that's to be expected. And then, you know, they've got the instant voice cloning, which is what I showed, and then they have some premium voice cloning options. So these are probably going to be fine tuned models on specific voices, which they say, let's talk for that. And so they uh, accept various audio inputs, so MP3, Wave, so on and so forth, and then um, some of these other things. So yeah, these are just in general, always good guidelines to follow. For volume, tone, and emotion, you can definitely play around with this. I got around uh, playing around with uh, the way my voice was recorded to, to clone different styles, so that can work as well too. Like for example, here is a slow version of my voice that I generated with this sentence. We can just take a listen to it, and it's um, I kind of exaggerated the speech a little bit to be slow. 
Hey guys, what's up YouTube? Today we're going to be looking at this really cool software I found. And yeah, we're going to go through the installation process and then I'll show you some awesome features that you can use. So, so yeah, let's get into it. And yeah, so when I recorded that, I uh, slowed down my speech a little to kind of speak like this. So yeah, you can do that with um, some other things, but I'll cover quickly how you can use it via the API. So with the API, you just need to have some credits. Um, you can get a dollar worth of credits if you just sign up with a phone number. So that's what I have here. got a free dollar credit using a phone number. And so all you need is your API key. Um, I'm going to delete this after the video so you guys can't use it. And then just some of the developer documentation. But um, to use this, You'll need to first have Python installed on your computer and then be able to uh, run it in, in some code. So here we have just a quick bare bones example of how we can use this. So we have our imports right here. We've got this session ID and then we've got all of the other stuff that we need to generate. So the first thing you need is your API key. So the API key goes into this field here. Then you need some text. So I just have a a variable that holds the text to generate from and then you just need a reference ID for whatever model you want to use so I'm actually just going to use that voice we uh, just created so I'll go to my voice uh, library go to custom voice I'm going to click on the name here and then I'm going to click on these three buttons here copy model ID so that we can use the model and then we'll go back into here and then paste it into reference ID. So we've got our model ID, we've got the text we want to generate, and then we've got a way to write it out into a WAV file or a MP3 file. And then all we need to do is generate. So we're running the code here and it's making a request to fish speech, fish audio to um, get back the text speech output. And here we go. Let's take a listen to it. He didn't say anymore but we've always been unusually communicative in a reserved way, and I understood that he meant a great deal more than that. In consequence, I'm inclined to reserve all judgments, a habit that has opened up many curious natures to me and also made me the victim of not a few veteran bores. The abnormal mind is quick to detect and attach itself to this quality when it appears in a normal person, and so it came about that in college I was unjustly accused of being a politician because I was privy to the secret griefs of wild, unknown men. So there you go. That is using it in code. And um, if you want a uh, if you want to know more of how you can do this, I just recommend you look at the documentation here, copy and paste it into something like ChatGPT, and it'll come out uh, with code that you can use in Python um, to be able to uh, create whatever you want to create with this. That is briefly how you can use it in like Python. Um, they've got a GitHub page for that as well. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. I'd like to thank Fish Audio for sponsoring today's video. Just wanted to cover this other TTS alternative um, to like 11 Labs or Play HT. Um, I think Fish Audio is pretty good. And the fact that it's also an open source model makes it even better. So that's one of the main reasons that I accepted the sponsorship. And um, yeah, I think they're doing great things. So that's going to be it for today's video. Once again, I'd like to thank all of the members of the channel for supporting me as well. And I will see all of you guys later.